Hi there, welcome back to Repair Lawnmowers for Profit. I was hoping to get outside, um, it's a bank holiday weekend here. It's Easter, but look at this once again. Typical uh, British weather. It's not doing much to help my grass grow either, I don't think. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'll, I'm just on the computer, I'm just backing my computer up and uh, editing a few little bits together. I just thought I'd explain um, Facebook marketplaces. I've had a lot of uh, questions about it. I guess it's quite new, but a lot of people don't understand it. But basically, if you go on, to, if you're if you're on Facebook, that is, if you can be bothered with it, if you actually go onto Facebook and look at this uh, little icon in the centre here on your phone or on your iPad or whatever you've got, and actually click that, this opens up things that are for sale. It might seem very self-explanatory to a lot of people this, but I've had uh, a lot of people ask me. So, if I'm just to go to there, for example, um, what I want to go do is just go to uh, to there. I'm just going to type in, so I've just got one hand, I'm just trying to do it quickly. If I just start typing, there we go, a lot more just comes up, so I've, I've searched for it before. It will bring up everything um, that's in my local area. Now you might be wondering, well how, how do you get all these to come up? How do you know what your local area is? Well, the, the way to find that, there's actually a button at the top here. As you can see there, man says York, 25 kilometres. So if I press that... I can actually set how far, let's say how far I'm willing to travel to pick a lawnmower up. So if I'm only willing to travel, you know, within 10 kilometres, as you can see here at the bottom, it will only bring up any lawnmowers within that area. However, if I'm, you know, looking for something that might be a bit more worthwhile, if I'm perhaps going to travel 50, it will change the radius of where I can go to. So I generally keep it, um, I'm, I'm quite happy to go to Leeds, so I, I generally keep it on this side of Leeds within about 30 miles, something like that, and click apply. And then it's great because it only brings up the lawnmowers I'm interested in. So as you can see here, these are the ones that are on in, in my local area. Um, some of them are quite good. And I'll, I'll just go through a few and just tell you what I think. So we'll just have a, a quick scroll down here. You can see there's loads on, but people are asking sort of uh, 90 pounds for that. They're asking quite a lot of money. What you want to find is something that's, you know, 20, 30 pounds, something cheap, something like this. Um, or whatever this is here, let's just have a look at this, Briggs and Stratton, McCulloch, uh, petrol lawnmower, come on can't spell, um, lawnmower non-runner, worked fine last season, got it out today and it won't start to buy a mower, £40, I mean, what's that going to be worth, does it have a drive on, I'll start looking to see if it has a drive on, if, if, if you want to flick through the photos, if there's any more, you can just flick across, unfortunately there aren't, so what I start doing then is, you kind of have to investigate it a little bit, and just have a look round. Now I'm normally looking down here to see if there's any any cables that looks like, looks like it's got a drive on, or sometimes a giveaways on the uh, on the badge as well. Uh, have, if it has SP on or anything like that, you know it's a self drive. So this looks like a push mower. Um, and you could maybe fire off a message and offer them twenty five pounds for that if they want rid of it. Basically, people just don't want to go to the tip for things like this. So if they want rid of it, a lot of the time they'll just say yes because they just want rid of it. And you can sort of sell this again for seventy, eighty pounds, and make yourself a good fifty pound profit from doing such a small amount of work. But um, I'm just showing you basically what's what's available to buy, even when the weather's bad. There's nothing to stop you going out and picking up some mowers. And these are all within um, the radius that that I've put on. What's that one there? My uh, another mount field there. What's he asking for that? Let's just read this. Mount field, good run up. The deck is rotten. Yeah, unless well, you see, you could dismiss that, couldn't you? Or you could ask yourself. You know, for maybe five, ten pounds, what's it worth to go and pick that up and get a brand new carburetor, uh, an air filter box, the air filter, all the springs, you know, the height adjusters, the the dipstick, the you know, the, the pull cord handle, even the height adjusters. What's it worth to you if you get one that needs a spare part to stop you going and get that? That's that's how I look at things. And what I do as well with Facebook Marketplace is I use it to sell. So I've not written a real good listing on this, I've just been a bit cheeky and just put it on for £220 and I've, I've written a very basic listing for it. But as you can see here the uh, the photos all look good, It's it's got a brief description of everything it does. And I've not even serviced this up yet, which is very unlike me, but I can't really get outside to do it. I don't really want to sit in the garage just on a bank holiday weekend particularly, I don't mind sitting outside and you know in the sunshine and doing these sorts of things, but at the minute I don't want to be sat in the damp. But I've listed this and I use this for listing and the, the advantages of that are great because eBay is a pain really because you've got PayPal, you've got you know buyer protection, someone wants to bring it back, they can email you. It seems to be never ending sometimes. What you what you do with this is you put your price on, someone comes and picks it up, 
to pay the cash and you give them a mow that you know when, when it leaves your house is in perfect working order and basically you can just delete all the messages they've sent you about it and it's gone and that's the end of it um, you're not doing anything wrong as long as you're selling something you know you've it's in good faith and everything's working all right that's what i do and um, i'm not paying 10 percent i mean for, for for instance if i was to sell that at 220 pounds on on ebay i would get charged 22 pounds which is 10 percent of a final value fee on ebay so i'd always be down to about 198 and if it was by paypal i'd probably lose about another eight pound so i'd probably lose nearly 30 pounds and what i do with this is i, I kind of expect to lose that because I know I will get offers of about 200 if I put it on at that. But I'm still, it's still easier than eBay. It's sold, it's cash, um, it's gone. There's no comebacks, it's just as is. And I like to do it that way. So Facebook Marketplace for me is, is kind of taken over from eBay. When I go on eBay nowadays, it feels really, really old-fashioned. Like... You know, searching for stuff. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have. I've even got my, <laughs> I've even got my DVD listed for sale there. Look, I forgot I've done that. Um, oh, I haven't been approved. Look, I'll sort that out. Um, I, I, I very rarely go on eBay to look for mowers now. I find it's just too much hassle. Then trying to, the problem is you, you're trying to bid against other people, which sounds really obvious. But on here, it's just a case of finding something, and then ask about availability, and then somebody will get back to me. You know, you can click. You can either click that, or you can just. Some people have got a button that says "Send a message." Is this still available? And they'll get back to you, and you'll have a chat on on the messenger. You know, on your messenger thing on your phone or your laptop. And um, most of the time, I'll end up going to pick something up. So um, I was hoping to just show you that, but he's probably going to think I'm interested in that. So a quick look at this, see what it is. See these little dots along the bottom. This this is really really simple stuff to a lot of people. I understand. It's probably quite boring, but if you don't know this stuff, you probably want to be shown. So these little dots along the bottom mean that there are more photos to be viewed as well. He wants a hundred pounds for that, so I think he's probably, ooh, I think he's probably dreaming. To be fair, um, he'd, he'd probably get back to me in a second, thinking, "Wow, you know, someone's interested in this." The reason people buy this type of mower, by the way, is because it's really easy to cut. If you've got a, a, a hill or a, a slope or a bank in your garden, these are really easy to sort of throw around and uh, get down the hills rather than something with wheels on anyway um, that's Facebook marketplace I hope that uh, clears up a few things so just to recap just hit this button at the bottom of your thing or look on Facebook there's uh, an arrow for marketplace type in what you want and send a message so it's as simple as that and if you want him to sell something on marketplace you just click up here, it says, what are you selling? So you it's basically just like um, just like eBay, really, but kind of quicker. Um, just click that, just click items for sale. And then just put your photographs in, your price, add more options. Go through everything and click next, basically, and it, it will appear completely free of charge with no listing fees whatsoever. And you are, you are um, in business to sell mowers, you know, with no, with no fees. So it's that simple to buy. It's that simple to select the area where you want to pick these up from, your, your total distance you want to cover. Um, it's that simple to sell. So I hope this clears up a few things on Facebook Marketplace. And I hope this weather clears up soon, but I think I'll have an Easter egg while I'm waiting. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps a few people get started selling for profit.